Good morning. We are so happy that you're here and I am so happy to be here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. So I am at Port Orleans French Quarter. During the pandemic, Port Orleans was one of the last resorts to reopen and it, it just did in October and we haven't had the chance to come back. And so I'm so excited to be here having breakfast this morning. I'm going to get some beignets and just relax around the resort. Um, it just smells like a Disney morning. It just feels like a Disney morning. Um, I'm very happy. So I'm gonna do some mobile ordering and then head to Riverside afterwards. I am very excited for my Disney day and I hope you are too. Inside we go. So around this corner is the full food court, but I am going to get beignets at Scat Cats Club Cafe. I wonder what that means. It is so cute in here. They also have a band that plays, I think usually out there, but in the evening it's a lounge and there's yummy food, but for breakfast it has the beignets. But so cute, definitely worth coming over. The beignets are really warm and delicious. And there is seating. There's seating inside and also outside. So I'm gonna go outside because it's super nice out. So I got three Mickey beignets and the caramel sauce. And then also their specialty Valentine's Day beignet. And this is like cinnamon flavored, like red hot, um, like drizzle on it and sprinkles. It's really yummy. It's not super like spicy cinnamon. It just has like a little bit of that cinnamon to it. So yummy. I could not finish all of those beignets, so I took what I didn't to go. Now I'm just strolling the Sasagula River to Riverside. We are, we love French Quarter so much, but we are Riverside people to our core. I had stayed there almost every trip as a kid, so it's super nostalgic, but also just the best. And guys, this is one of my favorite things in all of Disney World. Come on. These boats are back. And they're waving at me and I'm happy as could be. So my plan is to hang out at Riverside for a little and then hop on one of the boats and go to Disney Springs. The weather is just beyond gorgeous. It wasn't supposed to be really warm while I was here, but in the last couple of days, the forecast changed and it's supposed to get into to the 80s today. Um, so I actually just bought some sunscreen and I think I'm gonna relax by the pool. I really love the beignets, obviously, but I know I'm gonna be like hungry for food food. So maybe I'll go to the food court here or eat by the pool. This path is really easy. It's just to the left of the pool. Like if you're in French Quarter, and you are, you see the pool, you take a left, and there's this nice path. So wherever you're staying, I recommend if you're staying at Riverside, you stroll the French Quarter and vice versa. It's really only like, like a 10 minute, a 10 minute walk. Ooh, I am here. I haven't been here in two years. Do you guys remember when we sat on these benches and ate pizza while our apartment was infested with bees. <laughs> if, you, if you've been around that long, I love you. <laughs> long story short, I will put 
I'll, I'll send Peter, he's gonna be editing. I'll send Peter the link so he can put it in the description so you can watch it, because we were obviously vlogging then. Um, our apartment got bees inside, and this is a dog-friendly resort. So we brought Eve here while like that all got situated. It was a story for the books, but um, yeah, if you wanna watch it, go ahead and click the link in the description. This is just the best gift shop. And from the vault collection, they have this cool puzzle of a map of Magic Kingdom. And then there's also these ones, which are like the beacons of light. Those are really cool. And partners. I've been hanging out by the pool here. I just got a turkey sandwich and a Coke. Reading, it is so nice. And they're doing trivia. This sandwich is fancy. It's turkey. It has some sort of aioli on it, balsamic vinaigrette, and peppers. Nice little bun. I'm so excited. Pool food is the best food. Disney Springs. It is like borderline toasty. Like it's it's, it's very very nice out um, and, and super sunny. But I came here to try and find a Jesse doll for James for Valentine's Day. His favorite scene right now, like Toy Story, like makes him laugh every time. Is the scene where. Jesse and Woody meet for the first time. Well, he meets the whole Roundup gang. Then he sees all his merchandise. He just loves Jesse. And when, just like anytime she talks, he's like, you know, all about her. So I thought it'd be a great gift for him, but I have not been able to find one out at World of Disney, not at Once Upon a Toy. I see it on Shop Disney, but I might just have to resort to Amazon because Valentine's Day is in two days. So, I ended up having lunch by the pool. I was gonna eat here too, but I think I'm just gonna go in Sugar Boo, maybe Raglan Road, and then head over to Magic Kingdom. Hello. This is just such a good feeling. Do you hear what is playing? performing he lives in you i have the craziest goosebumps <laughs> so i was moved to tears by that performance oh my gosh it was so incredible um now i'm just gonna go to the buses i actually was thinking like hopefully there's a bus to magic kingdom if not i'll go to one of the resorts here and take one but i'm fairly certain there's a bus and head on over. I, my goal is to get there before the sun went down and we still have a couple hours of sunlight. So this will be great. Megan and Katie are going to meet up with me there. Here is the directory. Doesn't look like there is Magic Kingdom. I realize what's probably easiest is that I just go to the contemporary and walk over instead of going to a resort in that direction. I'll just take the bus. Here. Good afternoon, everybody. I am editing now. It's a little later than I expected getting started on the vlog. James and I kind of slept in a little bit. We got up around eight, and then we've kind of just had like a productive day. We're like, like hanging out. I've been folding laundry, did some dishes, um, hanging out with him. He's down for a nap right now, so I'm trying to get as much of this vlog edited as I can during his nap because we have to go run errands when he wakes up. So if I don't get it done now, it'll go up like late tonight after he goes to bed, which I don't like, but um, sometimes it is what it is and we gotta do stuff um, because tomorrow's Super Bowl. Tomorrow's when our f family is having our Christmas celebration because we couldn't during the holidays because there's a lot of COVID going around. Um, so I have to go do some errands for that. So uh, editing, I haven't edited in a long time. So bear with the vlogs because um, they're not gonna be as crisp and pristine as Sarah's edits. 
but it's fun to see the footage from uh, us being here and Sarah being there. No luck on the Jesse doll. I'm gonna check by Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. But if I order it in like the next few hours on Amazon, it'll be here in time. So I'm here. It's gorgeous out. I feel like I've said that a million times, and I know Peter might have just started vlogging, and it's very, very cold where they are. So every time I say that, I instantly feel guilty. Um, very cold there um, but the lines are kind of long so who knows what we'll end up doing but I'm gonna head to Tomorrowland and there are a few attractions there I know I want to do I guess James wasn't done napping just yet when I got out of his crib he just fell asleep right back on me Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for a real treat. There's a great big view to hold tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. Well, there you blow a fuse. Correct. That's the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. Uh, and I've won the whole neighborhood again. Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my room. A rumpus the room. And hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I'm starving. <laughs> I have spotted Megan and Katie eating popcorn over there. Progress City was the inspiration for Epcot and many of its forward thinking ideas have been developed throughout the whole Why are the lights on? Okay, it looks like the lights are on in here. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I've ever seen it with the lights on. I've seen it with some lights on for sure. And if I have, it's been a very long time. Oh my gosh. Oh, carts are going through it. Whoa, that's so weird. Just empty carts. Who's ready to go out in the freezing cold? James is. Whoa, 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 the bow. I think we've shown it in years past. Let us know in the comments below if you recall us making or ha talking about this antipasta Christmas tree. Um, 
Sarah's grandma. Sarah's grandma used to make it. When Sarah and I started dating in high school, I used to go, Sarah and I used to go to Sarah's grandma's and help her make it. And then when she moved in with Sarah's mom, we would still help her make it. And then when she passed, we would help Sarah's mom make it. And so tomorrow being the big family Christmas celebration um, and Sarah out of town, I'm still gonna make it. So I have to bake a ham later. Cause it's like, you'll see, we'll get into the thick of it later, but I have to get the, sty the styrofoam or not styrofoam, styrofoam. Yeah, the like, foam triangle that is what we stick everything on. So we're going to grab that, going to grab some stuff for Eve at Petco and a few things at Target. Wow. Sarah did say the other day that there, one of these opened up down the street from us. This is a, a 2D restaurant. I think there's one in Orlando now. But look at that line. I would say James and I would go, but not in that line when this weather. All right, now here's the question. I think this is a standard size one we would do, like medium. But do I go nuts and I do that? I actually don't know if I have enough supplies to do that. I think this one will suffice. Yeah, that'll fit in the fridge too. So we're gonna wrap this in tin foil and then stab it with a bunch of meat and cheese. Italian meat, meat and cheese, of course. The next stop is Petco to pick up some of Eve's like specialty treats that she we give her to help her little sensitive stomach. All right, our target trip is complete. Oy, hitting my bags against light posts. Um, we're heading home. James has been so good. I didn't want to push it. I don't know what we're doing for dinner quite yet. I know I've got stuff to make stuff. But, but I got to get that ham in the oven if I don't want to be up all night because it's got to bake and then cool so I can cut it. But I honestly, like that might work best after James is asleep because I, I already feel like Eve's going to be a bit of a nuisance putting that thing together because it's just little pieces of meat and cheese for like an hour stabbing them and putting them on a tree. You wanna fight? You wanna wrestle? Huh? You wanna wrestle? You're the best. I found my friends. You guys are like Disney bounding Buzz Lightyear. Oh my Together. gosh, right. I didn't realize that. And she has, it says purple wall. Ah! That's really cute. <laughs> I noticed that like when I, cause I saw them on the people movie. Um, I was like, they look like Buzz Lightyear down there. Um, I've been like hungry, but like not having a taste for anything, but this pickle sounded really good. So got a pickle and we're going to do fireworks and then rides after fireworks. Oh yeah. He's got some chips. Boom, 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 boom. Yay! Yeah, chip party. Whoa. I said we weren't gonna do rides until after fireworks, but Small World had a quick wait. So we did that, and now we're gonna watch Enchantment from Behind the Castle, which we have not done yet. later than I expected for dinner, but uh, we have fully cooked falafel that just heats up. Got the ham in a Dutch oven, so that'll go, but that's for tomorrow. James and I are gonna have falafel and then just some like veggies on a pita kind of thing. All right, here's a, here's a super simple dinner that we're having. Falafel, tomatoes, banana peppers, and uh, that fancy dip that I found in the fridge. <laughs> and we'll probably have snacks from like when we cut the antipasta tree and then the flatbread here. I'm gonna share with my little Jamesy boy. <laughs> booyah, booyah. So good.
Of course, there's always my way. Alrighty, we're having a quick food detour. Got some pork carnitas nachos that has queso on it. And it comes with everything like on the side. You got your salsa, your sour cream, a little boat of lettuce and tomato. I cannot wait for the toppings bar to be back, but it's pretty good in the in the interim. There's the ham looking good. Gonna check the temp. It's been in there about 65 minutes, so it should still go a little longer, I believe. It's about six more minutes. It's almost right there before it has to settle. Watching trolls now. Watch the last season, last episode of the last season of Boss Baby, and it just pulls at your heartstrings. I love that show so much. We had never noticed a little gold orange bird over here. It's in like these, this little seating section by Skipper Canteen. What a little cutie. I have also never seen a boo. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to find them all now. We're knocking out all the short weights. It is 10 o'clock on the dot. We're gonna get one more ride in. And Dumbo. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, update for the evening. Be careful. Be careful. Um, James is taking a bath. I want him to be nice and fresh and clean before he wears his Christmas outfit tomorrow for the family party. What are you trying to do, splash me with all that water? Um, I'm gonna see if I can get him down and then I'm gonna work on the antipasta tree. Um, Sarah's been texting me and I think she's been having a great time at Magic Kingdom with Megan and Katie. Um, I got a video of the fireworks, so I'm just very happy that she's there having a great time. And we're having a great time here, just hanging out with us. I wanted to go out to eat somewhere today because tomorrow we're gonna be Christina and Grant's like all day. Uh, and then Monday I work before getting up Sarah. Hey. So James and I did not get our little lunch or dinner date like I suspected hey. at like a restaurant. Oh, you just turned on the shower. Whoa, how crazy is that? Okay, I gotta get back to this kid. Look at this sweet end to the day. It was warm. Like, like shockingly, my phone died. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good though. <laughs> this was warm, and we literally could not, I could not walk away without getting it. We were like touching it. <laughs> <laughs> Big bottle, our main bottle. Got the TV off, just lights on. Calm time with Leslie Odom Jr. playing. All right, here's where we're at. I think I came to the conclusion there's your cheddar, there's your provolone, there's some um, pepperoni, there is a salami, like Genoa salami, mixed in with some soppressata salami. This is some calabrese salami, which I think might be too spicy for the family. So as long as I have enough between all these other meats, 
I won't use those, or I should say them for Sarah, or I might bring some up on the side for people who are adventurous. Um, so I have, all I've left is to dice up the ham. I think because it's 11.22, I think I'm just gonna prep all this, put it in the fridge, and I'll make the tree tomorrow morning. All right, definitely not preparing the tree tonight. It's 12.10 now. Uh, James woke up uh, right as I was about to start cutting the ham, and he was giving me trouble going back down. Um, I dropped him in a crib three times before he stayed down. Um, Eve did not help in that situation because she was all riled up with all the meats in the kitchen being cut that she thought like I had meat with me in the room with him and she came barking at his door, which she never does. So that was a little upsetting, but we all got through it. He's asleep. I finished preparing all the meats and cheeses. Eve is cool. So I'm like, I'm getting the Christina and Grants four hours before the party starts, but I also want to be there to help them prepare anything. So like, in reality, worst case scenario, I could bring all the stuff and make it at Christina and Grant's, but the intent is for me to bring it there already made. Um, and I need to edit the vlog tomorrow as well, but it'll be a good day. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, having, it's always this time of year, and you guys didn't see this as much when we were living in Florida, um, but there's just not as many birthdays, not as many events from like, January until spring, so there's always this like big lull where we don't see the extended family around this time of year. So it's like exciting to get this little like cheat of seeing everybody. Um, so that'll be exciting, but I'm gonna go to bed because we have a lot to do before the party tomorrow. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.